Calm morning here this Tuesday, 77 degrees, a little bit of residual cloud coverage from some shower activity that was in the area overnight. And you see those clouds on the satellite imagery. You're also seeing a little bit of uh, some upper level moisture there. That might be some false returns as that could be some Virga not making it to the ground showing up out near George West. Uh, but overall our weather's pretty quiet here as we work into our Tuesday there will be a little chance for a few isolated pop-up showers this afternoon uh, but otherwise just hot and humid the real serious heat is out west where a big dome of high pressure is going to reside through the weekend uh, Death Valley California up near 130 that is crazy hot and that big dome of high pressure is the catalyst for all that heat over uh, in that part of the United States. The tropics are gonna get more active. We got two tropical waves to be paying attention to. Uh, one of them we're aware of, 98L. The other one a little bit more attentive now getting into the eastern parts of the Caribbean Sea. Both of these do look like they've got a decent chance to develop over the next five days. The one that's in the Caribbean right now has the lower possibility of development, but still a medium 60% chance as it tracks to the west toward the Yucatan this weekend. So we'll have to pay very close attention to how that evolves over the next few days. The one that's farther out in the Atlantic, 98L, that one's got a better chance to develop, a 90% chance over the next five days, but that one's going to be a little bit farther to the north. You'll see that development possibility reflected in the spaghetti plot. You see more uh, members, if you will, on that system that's farther to the east. That means that it's better for development. More models are saying this thing is going to develop. The one that's in the Caribbean, not as much. And still, uh, we're going to have to pay attention to how both of these systems, again, uh, progress on their journey to the west. There is some wind shear out there in the northern Caribbean and western Gulf of Mexico that's going to mitigate some development uh, as these two things work in the direction of the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. The water temperatures are plenty warm. This is not going to be a problem for you know the remainder of uh, August and all of September. Waters are warm enough to support tropical development and sustenation. So uh, heading into the weekend on Sunday, it's possible that they look like this. Uh, one of them heading toward Florida or the Florida Straits over Cuba. The other one coming off the Yucatan Peninsula and into the Western Gulf. At this point, it is too early to give specifics on exact track or intensity. Uh, but again, we're going to be keeping close watch on how these two systems develop. The next two names up are Laura and Marco for the Atlantic hurricane season. 97 today, it'll be sunny to partly cloudy with a little bit of isolated afternoon rain popping up uh, and an east wind at five to 15 miles per hour. Winds will be light and variable tonight, 76, humid and calm. And over the next seven days here, it's gonna be mainly sunny, hot and humid at or above seasonal average, which is 95. And into next week, we'll have to you know, adjust rain chances accordingly, depending on how these two tropical waves enter and then move in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll keep close watch on that, Barbie.